guys welcome back to another video so today i'm gonna be doing a mukbang i think that's how you say it with you guys and for today's video i have sushi don't remember where i got this from it was my first time ordering from that place but it looks so good i asked you guys some questions on instagram and so many of you guys replied and I'm so thankful for that I thought no one was gonna reply and one of them was like any story time and let me start off by telling you guys on how I got COVID <laughs> because I'm actually sick right now um I started my quarantine on Tuesday I believe um but Thankfully, thankfully, me and my family are okay, and I'm feeling pretty good. As you guys can tell, I feel pretty good, and I'm just like super, super thankful that like my whole family is okay. My mom, she gets pretty, like, pretty bad migraines, I guess you could say, and so she had been having migraines since um, the week prior. To, well like last week <laughs> and so she's been having migraines and hold on let me a little piece but she gets pretty like bad migraines and so last week she had been having migraines like consistently which we thought it was normal because she always gets migraines. Sunday came and she started feeling a little like tickle in her throat and so um, she wouldn't go get tested Sunday and then Monday I was at work. I don't know why like I just had like a really weird feeling and I'm the type of person who always like senses things. It's just weird but yeah so like I had a bad feeling and um like halfway through the shift my mom texted me and she's like hey like we tested positive for covid the way i want to go tell my my manager and i mean either way like i work at a hospital so i'm exposed to it um all the time and so it was for me it was always more of like Oh, like what if my parents catch it what if my parents catch it you know and so my dad also te tested positive and i um obviously told my manager and everything and she was just like let me know how your symptoms are and if you start getting any symptoms and i was like yeah sure whatever and at that time well not whatever but you know like i, I, I will tell you <laughs> and so at that time i was just feeling good like i was i was doing good and that night um here let me eat another little piece so that night i came home and i took a nap and when i woke up from the nap i had the like the worst headache literally like the baddest migraine and i was like oh my god i was like no i'm gonna get sick and yeah um i texted my manager i was like hey like my head is hurting and um i was really cold like i had shivers so i let her know she was just like okay well like just stay home like you're not coming into work and i was like yeah i was like of course go get tested on tuesday and then wednesday they called me and they were like hey like you're positive which i had an idea that like i was gonna be positive because um i was having like really bad headaches i let everyone that i was with saturday know i let all my friends know and they were like hey yeah well like thank you for letting us know you know oh. everyone's doing good thankfully um some of my friends want to go get tested and they're doing good so i'm just really thankful for that but yeah guys but yeah we're doing okay um I'm gonna lose my mind being stuck at home for two weeks literally like I'm a very impatient person <laughs> I don't like just like staying home or like not doing anything I was gonna do the Starbucks um 
what is it like when you buy different drinks from starbucks and like you try them i was gonna do that one but obviously like i'm not leaving my house at all for two weeks um i really don't want to expose anyone or anything but yeah that's <laughs> why i've been on social media so much because i have nothing else to do going on to the next question of like how is it like working in the medical field during um this pandemic and honestly it is pretty scary like at times just because like it i feel like there was a point when it just became like so normal like i don't know um i started working in the hospital in like february so it was when like everything was starting and i feel like I didn't really get to see too much of like a normal hospital i feel like i've been through like the whole entire covid stuff that like to me it's just like oh well like this is it you know the next question is what are you majoring in and i'm majoring in biology um and then brie asked what's your biggest fear and my biggest fear is losing my parents embarrassing experience and guys so long story short um i did not know how to drive when okay so during this time i did not know how to drive like perfectly i was learning and my all of my cousins knew so we were at my cousin's house and she was over here like oh yeah like i could drive whatever and i was like girl me too you know and so at this time my parents um had put the car in the shop to get it fixed because of the hail damage insurance um lended my parents um a little car you know it was a white chevy cruise and it was brand new <laughs> and so <coughs> and so i thought i could drive i was over here trying to be a show off and a little you know badass or whatever and I, my mom needed to, to, we were at my aunt's house and um, my mom needed to park the car across the street because um, someone was gonna get out of the driveway or whatever. And so I was like, oh, like I could do it, I could park it. And there was, the neighbor's car was in front of us. And so I was over here supposedly reversing and my dumbass left it on drive and i hit the car like the neighbor's car and it was so embarrassing because at that time my dad um he was working in a different state and my mom was on facetime with him so he saw everything through facetime and it was just really embarrassing the next question is um by liz she said what are your career goals what are your career goals um love you my barla dude i love you too and i miss you so much i hope you're doing good but um as of right now i feel like it's just to get into the program that i want to get into um someone else asked well are you in college or do you work I also love your OOTD. Would you film YouTube videos? <clears throat> Dude, yes. Um, I do have like several videos. Well, I have one. <laughs> I have one video. I have one video on like outfits. <clears throat> if you wanna go watch it, I'll leave it down below. Um, but thank you so much and yes i am in college and i do go to wait i do work there we go i'm so out of it guys but yeah i definitely do want to film more youtube videos um on like outfits and stuff and like fashion because if you guys haven't noticed already i really do love all of that and also i was gonna tell you guys in my last video but um i do okay so like a while back i made a instagram account to show like my ootds and like where i get my clothes and all of that but i was just always really embarrassed to like or like scared to put it out there so i'm gonna leave it down below because i'm actually gonna start posting and i'll put it right here 
what was your experience coming to the u.s only if you're comfortable talking about it honestly i am comfortable talking about it like if you guys ask me um in person i'm always super super open about it but i feel like it's so much that i would want to do like a separate video on it um and i kind of want my mom to be in it because obviously like i was little and um she's the one that went through it the most because she was actually pregnant with my brother elizabeth said um did you think i was a serial killer lmao because i did girl i'm not even gonna lie okay so elizabeth is a friend that i met on this like tiktok travel group for girls <clears throat> she lives here in colorado and um she messaged me and she was like hey girl like we should hang out and i was like yeah like i'm down and so we went and go eat sushi together and not gonna lie guys i was freaking scared like my boyfriend was scared for me but yeah girl i did think that you were a serial killer <laughs> when i first met you but she's the sweetest person ever and i can't wait to hang out with you and um go on road trips with you and travel together because she's seriously so sweet um what made you start your youtube channel pretty much just i feel like what made me want to start it is like i obviously like i feel like everyone knows but i love to travel and so um i would watch like all these travel videos and just like seeing people go all over the world and it was more of like dang like i want to film videos and i want to like look back at them and you know like just pretty much film videos for memories they're on when i'm old and barrugada and like wanga <laughs> i'll be like damn like look at me i did that you know <laughs> she also asked tell us something on your bucket list one of my really really big travel dreams and goals in life is um to go to rio de janeiro in brazil and i guess like something on my bucket list is obviously like to go to rio de janeiro but um it's to go paragliding in rio de janeiro um one place you want to travel to before you die and that is um switzerland and rio de janeiro and talking about that let me show you guys what eli got me for our anniversary this one's from last year so last year he made this well he didn't make it i i don't know where he gets them but they're so freaking cute and um this is me in like my favorite superhero <laughs> costume and then this is bonbon if you guys have seen him this is so cute and then this is him in his um juventus um jersey and then the whole landscape is in the tangled like the tangled movie type because that's like one of my favorite movies and so this year um he got me this and it's so cute and it's bonbon right here that's me that's him he doesn't like heights that's why um he's doing that face and then where is nala oh nala's right here i don't know if you guys can see her she's so cute and it's literally what i was talking about it was so freaking cute um but i'm just gonna answer this last question he asked my man is cheating on me what should i do don't even think about it leave all right guys well i am gonna finish eating my sushi and i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um i really enjoyed answering you guys' questions and i hope you guys enjoy my videos <laughs> um let me know what type of videos you guys want to see and i will try to do them especially right now like as long as it doesn't involve like going out I am open to doing like um, videos that I can do inside the house so yeah leave me recommendations down below or um, message me on my IG or something I don't know I'm always down and open to help you guys and talk to you guys about things so yeah um, let me know if you guys have any questions but 
I'll see you guys in my next video and don't forget to um, give a like and subscribe.